Now moving behind the patient to examine the posterior thorax. Liz, I'm going to undo your gown again, if that's OK. So first, uh, we again do inspection. Liz, if you could take a deep breath for me. And I'm watching to see that her chest expands kind of equally and symmetrically. Next, I'm going to do some palpation and placing my hands at the lower rib cage with my thumbs at about uh, T10. Uh, again, let's take a deep breath for me, and I can then feel that the expansion is symmetric. Now I'm going to move on to percussion of the posterior thorax. And here, in order to percuss, uh, my left hand is flat, especially my third finger is flat against the patient's back. And I use my other third finger to tap against my DIP joint. And this is a comparison examination technique. And don't forget to percuss laterally, because that's where you're going to be able to examine uh, the right middle lobe and the lingula. Now really, in the same areas, we're going to do auscultation or listening. Liz, if you can take some breaths in, please. Excellent. And again, this is a comparison. So you move your way down the patient's back. Again, not forgetting to listen laterally. Excellent. Very good. Now moving on to the anterior thorax. Uh, Liz, is it all right if I undo your gown in the back? Yes. And uh, what you want to do is, uh, especially on a woman, um, I'm going to lower the gown a bit, but keep um, as much of the chest covered as possible. Uh, first, we're going to inspect. Uh, you would be looking for use of accessory muscles or any uh, type of respiratory distress again, which we don't see. And then you want to extend your percussion here to the anterior chest. Very good. Also going to auscultate uh, before moving on to the lower chest. Liz, if you can take some breaths in for me, please. Excellent. Now to examine the lower part of the anterior chest, because I'm going to just put your gown, tie it up again. I'm going to ask you to lie back for me, please. Great. Is that comfortable? Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, what I'm going to do is keeping uh, Liz's lower half uh, covered with the drape, I'm going to raise her gown. This is an excellent way uh, to drape female patients so that you can keep as much of the chest covered as possible and also keeping the genital area covered as well. Now again, I'm going to percuss the lower chest. And again, comparing side to side. Now I'm going to auscultate. Again, Liz, if you can take some breaths for me. Excellent. There is some more advanced pulmonary testing. Uh, but that's not generally done in a general head-to-toe physical exam, so I won't perform that today. And also, I won't be performing a breast exam today. That's going to be covered in uh, PDS3 GYN uh, female seminar. I will perform an axillary exam, or an exam of the axilla. Uh, this is often done in a sitting position as part of a breast exam. Uh, but since Liz is already laying down, I can also demonstrate this in a laying down position. Generally, you want to, again, support the patient's arm and uh, bring that arm out 
away from the patient's side. And then you want to very firmly palpate into that axilla. Want to really make sure you get behind the pectoralis muscle because that's where some lymph nodes may be located. And that's really what we're looking for is for lymph node enlargement, which could indicate a problem in the chest area. But you have no lymph nodes that I can feel on that side. And I'll switch around to the other side and perform the same exam here.